Image copyright, Reuters image caption Shinzo Abe called the snap election in September The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has promised strong countermeasures against North Korea, after winning a decisive victory in Sunday's election. Mr. Abe had called an early election for a greater mandate to deal with crises, including the growing threat from Pyongyang, which has fired missiles over Japan in recent months. His ruling coalition has retained a two-thirds majority in parliament. This paves the way for Mr. Abe to amend Japan's post-war pacifist constitution. The Prime Minister has previously called for the existence of the country's armed forces to be formalized, a controversial move which he says is needed to strengthen Japan's defense but which critics say is a step towards remilitarization. Speaking at a press conference in Tokyo, Mr. Abe said his coalition's win was a vote of confidence from the public, and based on that we would dramatically show countermeasures against the North Korea threat. He said he would discuss these measures with U.S. President Donald Trump, who is visiting Japan, next month, as well as with other world powers such as Russia and China. He said they would exert stronger pressure on North Korea, adding I will make sure the Japanese public is safe, and safeguard our nation. Mr. Abe saw his popularity plummet in recent months while embroiled in political scandals, but enjoyed a sudden recovery after North Korea fired two missiles over the Japanese island of Hokkaido. The BBC's Rupert Wingfield Hayes in Tokyo says Mr. Abe's pledge of tough diplomacy with North Korea is rhetoric that would play well with the Japanese public, but it is unclear what it means in concrete terms. Tokyo has no diplomatic or economic relations with North Korea, and has poor relations with Pyongyang's closest ally China, so the most Mr. Abe can do is strengthen Japan's defenses and stick closely to the U.S., our correspondent adds. Image caption turnout on Sunday was estimated at about 53.7% Mr. Abe's ruling Liberal Democratic Party LDP coalition with the Komito Party has won 313 of the 465 seats in the lower house of Japan's parliamentary diet which gives them the power to table a revision to the constitution. Mr. Abe had previously announced he wanted to revise a clause which renounces war, known as Article 9, to formally recognize Japan's military, which is known as the Self-Defense Forces. He had set a deadline of 2022 to achieve this highly contentious task. But on Monday he appeared to ditch this target, saying it was not set in a concrete schedule. He said he hoped to form a strong agreement on the issue among parties in parliament, and gain trust from the Japanese public. Even if an amendment to the constitution is passed and approved by both houses in the Diet which Mr. Abe's coalition controls it still needs to be put to a public vote in a referendum. Mr. Abe two years ago successfully managed to push for a reinterpretation of the Constitution to allow troops to fight overseas under certain circumstances, which attracted widespread protests. Our correspondent says Mr. Abe's victory is also in large part due to the chaos of Japan's opposition parties. In the lead-up to the snap election, all eyes were on the recently formed Conservative Party of Hope led by the charismatic Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koiki, with some speculating that it would make significant gains. Image copyright of Getty Images image caption was Koiki said she took responsibility for the result but in the end it was overtaken by the center-left Constitutional Democratic Party which emerged as the biggest opposition party, and which opposes Mr. Abe's plan to amend Article 9. Ms. Koiki, who was in Paris for a business trip during the election, told reporters she was personally taking responsibility for the result. Japanese media quoted her as saying her words and deeds had caused displeasure to voters. Mr. Abe's election win also raises his chances of securing a third, three-year term as leader of the LDP when the party votes next September. That would give him the opportunity to become Japan's longest-serving prime minister, having been elected in 2012.